Hello, this is Aaron with AnnaComputers.com with another video for you today. I filed this one under computer problems. Hola, bueno, esto es Oron con AnnaComputers.com. Otro video para ti hoy. HBDV6000, how to get your laptop computer to boot again. You can use these tips for other model of laptops, not just necessarily an HPDV6000. Fixing your HPDV6000, you install a new motherboard. Now you get a beep code, which is three beeps, a pause, and then two more. Please disconnect all peripheral devices and remove all USB devices and media cards you want to test your computer, not any accessories. Disconnect an AC power adapter, remove a battery, and then press and hold a power button for at least 15 seconds. Reconnect an AC power adapter, but do not connect a battery. Press a power button, look for glowing LEDs near caps, lock, and num lock keys, and listen for sounds of a disk drive and fan turning. If it still won't boot properly or a computer BIOS won't post, then try reseeding your memory. Install one memory module at a time if you have more than one. Also, you can try taking out your hard drive and booting. What you want to do is get your computer's BIOS to post successfully, then connect or install any other devices and peripherals. You may need to reset a computer CMOS battery or RTC battery. You might try the sequence to clear CMOS memory hold, a function key pressed, then switch on power. Continuously tap on a F11 key. This will lead to some flashing LEDs cycling on and off. Let go of a F11 key and your machine might boot again and show a BIOS error message. System options not set. Use a F1 key to save settings. You can double check all connections. Check RAM, keyboard, LCD, modem, wireless, etc. Potentially only one loose cable, bad device, or unsupported device can cause a BIOS to not post. Try booting your laptop with a bare minimum of devices. Also, you can remove your CMOS battery and letting your laptop sit for a few minutes with a battery pack and power adapter plugged in. You can always try removing your CMOS battery and battery pack and power adapter and leave it sitting for a few minutes. You may need to try a different memory module that is supported by your laptop motherboard. Check to make sure processor fan is connected and spins when laptop is powered on. Another thing you can try is make sure power is off and make sure your laptop is not plugged in. Charging adapter is not plugged in. Remove a battery pack from your laptop. Hold a power button for 60 seconds. Plug in a power cord, but don't install a battery pack. Turn it on as usual. So basically, you want to try to get your computer to post a BIOS, meaning when your computer laptop first powers on, you will see a splash screen. Your BIOS manufacturer has a splash screen that will display. If it's just a blank screen, and then obviously your computer does not boot properly into whatever operating system you have loaded, then there's something wrong with that laptop where the BIOS is not posting correctly. Hopefully this information was productive and you were able to get your laptop computer booting again, including an HP DV6000. You can always browse to anacomputers.com for other possible potential tips, information, and tricks to help you solve your most common computer problems. Thank you for listening. Adios.